monsieur, bienvenue au Ritz. Modern French cuisine owes everything to Auguste Escoffier, from the length of the apron to the layout of the stoves. To this day, the kitchens of the best restaurants are set up and organized following the rules that Escoffier laid down. Ça marche, une lentille, une raviole. Alors Escoffier a été le premier chef du Ritz Paris, donc il a fait l'ouverture avec euh, M. César Ritz, je crois, euh, pour savoir qu'ils ils se connaissaient bien, donc il a accepté de venir ici pour faire l'ouverture du Ritz. Et personnellement, je suis très fier aussi de dire que je fais partie de, de, de tous ces chefs maintenant qui ont, qui ont passé ici et d'être un, un des disciples d'Auguste Escoffier parce qu'il a été le premier chef. Et je pense que ce qui est important aussi pour un chef, c'est que justement, il y a une certaine rigueur, une dignité, il, faut, faut, il ne faut pas le décevoir par rapport à rien que par rapport à lui. Quoi. Escoffier created hundreds of dishes and desserts, a legacy that is a source of motivation and inspiration for chef Michel Roth. His loyalty to Escoffier has won him many prizes and honors. At Christmas 2006, this disciple of Escoffier was awarded the highest honor that France could bestow. Michel Roth. Au nom du président de la République et en fonction des pouvoirs qui nous sont conférés, nous vous faisons chevalier dans l'ordre national de la Légion d'honneur. Toutes les tables à chaque service pour que tout soit impeccable pour mettre en valeur euh, la gentrie, la vaisselle. Bonjour en grand nom. Just as in the days of its founder, the special luxury of the Ritz Paris is its team of skilled professionals. The current managing director, Omer Akkar, heads an army of 10 managers and 600 employees. Et ensuite, euh, nous continuons. Good morning, Michel. Good morning, Mr. Akkar. How are you? Good, how are you? How is everything? Good morning. Alors écoutez, ça fait à peu près 30 ans que je travaille au Ritz. J'ai fait mes armes plus jeunes, petit à petit, et j'ai grimpé les échelons. Au fur et à mesure, vous pouvez m'excuser. Le concierge Michel, bonjour. What's the secret that all works? The secret is passion. Everybody does it because they love it. Being proud of it is a little bit like a Swiss watch. It's a very complicated, but the passion and the, and the patience, and sometimes you put so much effort for so little things, but that's what our guests are here. Petit à petit, avec les années, on devient un petit peu plus intime avec certains clients qui reviennent régulièrement. Il y a un petit mur entre eux et nous, on, on fait en sorte de ne pas les, les déranger. Ils viennent, ils nous demandent, on les aide, on, les aide, on leur rend service. Mais ça va, on ne rentre pas dans leur, dans leur quotidien. Bonjour, vous allez bien Ça va bien. Merci. Très vous. bien. How was the breakfast Very busy this morning. Very busy morning. Very yeah. busy, but uh, fortunately, everything is done now. Yes. Yes. Went everything. well. Well, very well. You made everybody happy as usual. Of course. Excellent. You know me. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. The guest is king. Ritz staff follow the teachings of their founder to the letter. Discretion, perfection, elegance. Again, the basics are the most important. We always come, we check the soup of today, because this is still a basic. You can make, we do caviar, truffles, we have Moroccan dishes, we have everything. But the basic, the coffee, the croissant, the soup, is still, if you have a good basics, people will remember you. Carrot ginger? Go ginger. Carrot whip? 
cream. 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 Very tasty. Perfect soup for today. Thank you. Why uh, Switzerland is still important as a, as a place for schools? Why not France or, or other countries? Why not? Pardon, Madame. Bonjour. Excusez-moi. Bonjour. Uh, what is important is because Switzerland, you learn the philosophy of hotelier, the basics. Then it's up to us as an hotelier. We adapt that. We adapt that to the Ritz. We adapt that to the other hotel chains. But this very, very strong basics are where you learn in Switzerland. And traditionally, Switzerland hasn't lost that touch. Now unstoppable, Ritz was heading for his next success. In 1891, the head of the Italian government requested Ritz to provide a luxury hotel for the eternal city. Ritz, now 41, built the Grand Hotel. Today, it's the St. Regis Grand Hotel. Recently restored, it has recovered all its former glory. On a gardé carrément la structure exactement comme a été faite par Cesaritz en 1894. Je peux dire que Cesaritz a été un extraordinaire visionnaire. Il était quelqu'un qui, euh, il y a 110 ans, il avait déjà euh, créé l'espace pour deux cuisines, pour le rond service, euh, les endroits où aujourd'hui on a les ascenseurs. 1894, ils n'avaient pas d'ascenseurs. Euh, au niveau des structures, carrément, c'est comme s'il y avait quelqu'un qui avait donné euh, des conseils, euh, quelqu'un qui venait de l'année 2000. The Grand Hotel in Rome was the first to be built entirely according to Ritz's plans and ideas. And the guests of those days, like those of today, were totally taken by the Ritz concept. Oh, I love it here. I think it's just grand. Even if it's for nine days, I'm being pampered and I'm in luxurious, beautiful surroundings and I hate to leave, I hate to go home. <laughs> Do you, do, do you know Ritz Hotel? Yes, I do very well. It's really something special Ritz or it's just a hotel? Uh, oh, no, no. It's a whole different experience. Staying at a Ritz is, you're treated like royalty almost. I feel very special and I really appreciate that. Explain us uh, this Ritzy feeling. The Ritzy feeling? It's like an escape. It's almost like you're in a fairy tale. Like Do you don't miss modern times? In, in I'm here to get away from modern times. Modern times is stressful and, and almost too real. I, I like stepping back in time. I like feeling the grandeur of the day when this type of thing was common. Well, not common, but gorgeous then and gorgeous now.